First, download the game from the site. If you have a friend, check the same server. Select which class you want to play. There are various classes and different ways of fighting, so choose carefully. Please refer to skill cycle and engravings in the build planner of my channel. Watch Descaluda play, and see how it actually plays. It is recommended to make at least 6 characters. Select 1 and 5 main characters. Let's make a character. Select class. Up to 6 characters can earn gold from raid. Decorate the character. It's a character that will play for a long time. So please take enough time to decorate it beautifully. You can also recall any customization made by other players. I left a link on show more, so check it out. To recall character customization created by someone else, you must have the right to change appearance. You must receive repurchase as an event. Lost Ark is an action RPG game. The way of fighting is good hitting and fun. But it takes a long time to level up because it's an RPG. If you create an alt character and give the level up material to the main character, the main character can level up faster. First, I recommend making the main character level 1460. Later, if you do research that helps you level up in your own estate, alt characters will be easier to level up. Gear and accessories are available up to tier 1, 2, and 3. Alt characters also need to be leveled up to T3 to give T3 level up materials to the main character. It takes about 2 hours to proceed with the prologue story. You can get a small reward. You can also skip the prologue story. There are fewer skills available at first. As the battle level rises while playing, the number of skills available increases, and the skill level increases. Afterwards, you meet Armin, enter the village, and play the main quest in order. You can also earn small rewards by playing small yellow quests. If it's your first time playing, make sure to play the story. Learn basic things such as adventure books, maps, rides, and songs of escape. There are also various collections. Finding Makoko is also a fun thing. If you check the square hole, you can easily move the map later. Item level is gears level. If you get a higher gear while playing, you can change it. Accessories have nothing to do with the level, but they increase the character's ability and you can continue to change accessories to higher ones. There is also a pet that automatically picks up the dropped item. Acquired pets can be shared by all characters. Other than that, other characters can share. Acquired pets can be shared by all characters. Other than that, other characters can share. You don't level up because you keep catching monsters. As you proceed with the story, the battle level and item level naturally go up. Each time the battle level goes up, skill point is earned. With tripod system, the first attribute is activated when the skill level reaches level 4, and the second attribute is activated when the skill level reaches level 7. At level 10, the third attribute is activated. Depending on which attribute you choose, you can use it like a completely different skill. It is fun to study various tripods in various situations, such as dealing with many monsters, dealing with one monster, etc. So, I use Chaos Dungeon and Raid separately. Spacebar is movement skill. Even when you fall, you can get up right away by using the spacebar. Now you're on a journey to fine arc. Solo play is available for the difficulty of all dungeons during the story. Hard can also be matched or cleared together by entering with party members. Lost Ark has a variety of quests. The main quest is an orange quest that is required to fine arc. 
The world quest will be conducted in blue for the first time and will be required. Dungeon quests are also created when you enter the dungeon with a blue quest. It tells you how to proceed with the dungeon. Adventure quests don't have to be done in purple right away, but they give you the necessary rewards, so we play together while playing the story. There are also regular yellow quests and unexpected red quests. Please play the yellow quest in the shape of a ring sometimes. Other than that, you don't have to do regular yellow quests or sudden red quests. Most of the main stories are in the same line, so you can proceed together. When you play the story, you have to play the Vern Continent, and you can only play it when you're at combat level 50. From the pre-Vern Continent of Artetine, do the general quest backwards to get experience and make the combat level 50. By playing the story to Vern, you can level up gear through the Equipment Retreat NPC. Gear level up is how you level up in Lost Ark. You need materials to level up gear, and you'll be playing it every day or once a week with a variety of content, including Chaos Dungeon and The Guardian, to get the materials. If you have completed all the quests, including Aristra Miss, Udia, Ludera, Tortog, Enika, Artatine, and Vern, register for Return Song at Vern Castle, or register for Bifrost. And then we go to Shusher and we play the story. Return to Vern and start with Chaos Dungeon. Play from the first level of the northern part of Vern and get 300 to levels of gear. Chaos Dungeon consumes 50 resonance energy once entering and recovers to 100 at 6 o'clock, so you can enter only twice a day. Once you enter, you can hunt monsters until the gauge in the upper left reaches 100%. When the portal comes up, go to the next map. Monsters marked with orange horns on the mini map are called named monsters. The use of tripod, which can freeze enemies during skill tripod or hang abnormal conditions such as electric shock, fear, etc. can make the named monster immobilized. Chaos Dungeon has a lot of monsters, so use tripod to widen the attack range. See Chaos Dungeon build on my channel. You can also kill the boss monster and earn additional rewards from bonus stages that come with a certain probability. Change the gear to the best quality obtained by Chaos Dungeon. I'll change the accessories, too. Break down the rest of the things you don't need. All the jewels are combined and made to level 9, so you can put them in the warehouse for now. Level up until level 370. Level 340 acquires new equipment, in step 2 of Vern Chaos Dungeon, which is accessible. We're newly acquired equipment. If you go to the Equipment Ray Engineer and PC, and inherit the existing equipment, the newly acquired equipment will absorb the existing equipment. The level is maintained. You can repeat ray training in succession like this. Chaos Dugwan is the most important content to get a level up material. There are various other places to get it, so you can check it by searching in the item dictionary. After the Lutter story, a study that increases the probability of reminiscence in my expedition territorial is possible, so please do this study. As the item level goes up, new content such as Abyss Raid will be created. The current end content, Vultan, is level 1415, Obrel Shaza is level 1490 and Akin is level 1580. The story of a new continent must also be played. The equipment acquired at Chaos Dungeon can be recovered and replaced, and the level up material obtained at the dungeon can continue to be upgraded. The all character also plays Chaos Dungeon and gives the material acquired to the main character and first increases the level of the main character level. If my land is level 2, I can use Knowledge Transfer to raise the level of all character with Knowledge Transfer, as much as the continent the main character has completed. Of course, alt characters also need to be raised to a certain level. Alt characters can raise the level quickly without playing the story. You can use Knowledge Transfer if you do the quest. Nothing is impossible for Kenyans on my land. Please refer to show more link for Knowledge Transfer. When a new character is released, a jumping ticket is also given as an event. If the main character has a high level, the jumping ticket is good for all characters. From level 1340, Plavern, Southern, Story, and level up, to level 1370. You can enter Argos from level 1370. You can go to the NPC to manufacture the Abyss Raid equipment, with the materials obtained from Argos, manufacture, and inherit the equipment. At Argos, you can play once a week and earn materials and 1,600 gold. Gear can be made with Solaris. If you have enough gold, you can buy it at auction. Legendary gear is a short stay phase, so quickly level up to level 1,415.
from level 1 to level 550, tier 1. Tier 2 from level 550, to level 1302. Level 1302 to tier 3. Combat content such as Abyss Dungeon, Raid, and Guardian Destruction. Navigation content such as Islands Heart, Island Spirit Exhibition, Adventure Island, etc. Collected content such as Makoko Seeds and Tome of Adventure. The battlefield of PvP proof against all server players, etc. There are various contents, so I hope you enjoy various contents instead of just level. Gem is different from tier 2 and 3. You can target from tier 3 to level 7. Build engraved nigs only with accessories acquired in dungeon, before level 1415. After level 1415, you can buy reglic accessories, from auction, and build engravings. Fion is required when purchasing at auction, so keep the Fion given at the event well, or you should buy Fion in crystal. It is difficult to obtain accessories with engravings that I want in dungeon, so I buy them at auction. If you have acquired good accessories, you can sell them to auction. Thank you for watching.